He's here. He's there. He's every fucking way. Right, Ken. Oh, I can. Right, Ken. Oh, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Cinema Peeps! Hello, Cinema Peeps. It is cold, and Kendra has a tea, and I'm really jealous now. Like, I grabbed my yes. Coke Zero, but, like, I wish I had a tea. So maybe I'll have to have a tea later. Mm-hmm. Tea is always a good idea. Just don't forget about it, because I tend to do that a lot. Mm. <laughs> yes. I make it, and then I forget it. <laughs> well, because you want to give it some time, right? So that yeah. it um, cools down just, like, a little bit, so you're not doing the whole... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah! Right, oh, right? You don't want to burn your tongue. But also the proper way to make tea is you want to steep it for at least four to five minutes, depending on the type of tea. Yes. I learned mm-hmm. this because I used to work at David's Tea, so I learned the proper way to make tea. <laughs> right. And that is unfortunately how I end up forgetting my tea is because I'll put it on the counter and then I'll be like, okay, I'll let it steep for a little bit. I'll walk mm-hmm. away, get distracted, and then like three hours go by and then like someone will come upstairs or like my dad will be in the kitchen and be like, whose tea is this? And I'm like, oh, damn it. <laughs> But then it's a nice tea. And then it's a nice tea, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you didn't want it, but now it is. Yep. <laughs> Speaking of warm teas to warm us up for the coldest season of Dexter. <laughs> oh, Dexter, new blood. We said we would oh. be back to mm-hmm. review the whole series mm-hmm. the, of the new uh, revival or whatever once it, once it was finished. And it, mm-hmm. it did finish two weekends ago yeah yeah i think so yeah so here we are ready Mm -hmm. to Um, share our thoughts right unfortunately i did not i thought i could at least squeeze in one more book i did not but i don't think it would have helped me analyze this season whatsoever (laughs) (laughs) although i do want to know if they took any elements from the series to add to this new season yes so yeah i will continue to try to read the books i honestly maybe i can make that my goal for this year is to try to read all the dexter books that's a good idea. I mean, I'm two down, so we'll see how it goes. But I'll, are they yeah, like I'll keep are they you easy reads? Uh, like thickness wise? <laughs> yeah, I think for the most part. I mean, the first one was just under 300 pages, I think. Okay. But then the second one was almost 400 pages. Mm. But I think now the second one's just, always just look. <laughs> yeah, right, just looking at them, like they're definitely not like. When I'm thinking of thick, I'm thinking like Harry Potter and Order of the Phoenix. It was yeah, like this yeah. big. And I'm like, oh my god. So yeah, I think they're in the realm of like probably 300 to 400 pages. So it's not too bad. Nice. That's good. It's still definitely, you know, I'll take a hot minute, but that's fine. But, You're faster um, a reader than I am, so. <laughs> and I don't think I'm very fast, so there you go. Yeah, I'm um, pretty slow. <laughs> oh, but gosh. Okay, so Yar... I <laughs> I finished <laughs> quite a few episodes. It was funny because I was like, I don't think I'll be able to catch up. And I think I watched five on Sunday. Wow, good for you. I just like, because they were hard not to be like, I was like, okay, I should probably go to bed on time. I'll just watch a little bit. Right? I'll, I'll, I'll stop halfway through the episode. <laughs> well, now that I'm here, I might as well finish. <laughs> That's one thing I will say. And I mean, you, I mean, you could argue most shows are like that, but I'm mm-hmm. glad that at least with this, like, se- um, uh, series new series whatever of dexter that Mm -hmm. each episode left you wanting more for Mm -hmm. sure so that that was good right um gosh uh i would well how about you go first what did you think of the series as a whole and then we could maybe start breaking down certain parts and then the finale and whatnot well i will say that i'm probably one of the small chunk of people if there's a small chunk of people (laughs) who enjoyed it as a whole But Mm -hmm. I do also see where, like, some of the flaws, and, like, I do have some nitpicky Mm -hmm. things about it. But from beginning to end, I enjoyed it. I think Mm -hmm. it was an excellent, like, kind of revival of Dexter. We got to see him come to life again, see him, Mm -hmm. like, in his his glory, in his element. And I do think it was a good Um, Mm send-off. I mean, there's a million ways that it could have ended. I think as most people would agree they picked the easiest ending i think but Mm. that being said if you can if you break down like everything that was going on and like you know the history of dexter and like what goes Mm -hmm. on in his life and stuff like that i still think it was a decent ending Mm -hmm. because i feel like certain like when i think of some of the theories that i've had like even before they this this new series was a thought i was gonna say we kind of called the ending yeah I mean, to be fair, it was one of many possibilities we were theorizing about, so... Yes, yes. I mean, I was like, wow, good for us. Pat on the back. Right? Pat on the back, right? (laughs) 
But no, I, I, even before this series was like a thought, I we we had like different theories of like how mm-hmm. Dexter could have ended, how how we would have wanted it to end, what we thought was going to happen. Um, and yeah, I think just like that's how everybody was feeling, I guess, going into this new season. Because like I said, everybody was so excited to see Dexter and he's such an iconic character. And because we only got to see him for like 10 episodes, which mm-hmm. was too short of like an actual season of Dexter, which kind of sucked. But I mean, whatever, whatever the reason. Um, it was, yeah, it, I don't know. I feel like everybody had their idea of how they wanted Dexter, like, like Zena, she, and like some people, they wanted Dexter to live on kind of like, you know, right mm. off into sun, into the sunset. And we know he's out there still doing good, doing good. And, you know, bringing justice to the world and stuff like that. Or they, some people wanted him and Harrison to team up. And some people mm. thought that Harrison was going to like pass on, like g- be given the torch and pass on that, uh, mm. uh, responsibility. Um, and then of course there was the, the ending of, he might die and Mm -hmm. (laughs) which ends up being what happens and yeah Yeah. oh yeah i guess sorry guys spoiler warning (laughs) sorry spoiler warning (laughs) i'll put in the title of the video yeah it'll be in the title yeah Yeah. you know what i mean so yeah um without taking up too much more time because i do want to hear your thoughts as well uh yeah overall i enjoyed it and i thought the shock of uh seeing the body the all the women being displayed in kurt's basement was amazing like, that was such a great, like, Dexter as a series as a whole has not fallen short on their shock value, for sure. Mm-hmm. I think, like, the twists that they throw in mm-hmm. the stories are great. The mysteries are awesome. Like, it's, I think that's what part of what makes the show so great, and I'm glad they kept that mm-hmm. going through this revival, for sure, too. So, yeah. Right. So, now, before I go, so I just want to nitpick, because you just mentioned that scene, right? mm mm-hmm. So, when... So there's a character, I think we mentioned her in the first, I don't know if we did, but there's a podcaster who shows up into town. Molly, yeah. Who disappears, and she's, like, one of the women in the case. So yes. I do have, like, one nitpick, like, because I was like, oh, Mar-. first of all, I think they did her a little dirty, because I was like, what the fuck? But yeah. second of all, I was like, when did Kurt have time to do that? Right? <laughs> I was a little, like, <laughs> sauce about that. I was like, wait, hold You were on. not the only one. You were okay, not cool. the only one. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, again, it was, like... It's really sad, but I mean, I guess it works them- thematically. Yes. Because, I mean, you know, the, the the sheriff, you know, started this whole career because she lost one of her friend, her best friends, and he was, she was the first victim of Kurtz. Mm-hmm. Um, and so to have Molly be kind of one of his last, you know, stings again, because, you know, she was making a new, and she, you know, she was making a new friend, and I liked that, but. Yeah, right? You know, she but yeah, had, I was had a little purpose. nitpicky, <laughs> I guess. I was, but I was, again, it was a little nitpick because I was like, when the fuck did that, ha- when did he have time to do that, man? Right? Which also leads me to my other, like, nitpick is that, like, right about that time, as great of a reveal as it was, I feel like that's when they started to rush the last, like, couple episodes. Because mm. it just, yeah, I felt like it felt very rushed at that point. They built up this great story of, like, okay, here's Dexter, here's what he's been doing all this time. Okay, now Harrison's in the mix. Now he and him have to try to, like, re- like mend their bond and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And, oh, okay, Angel's, Angel's back now. And, like, what's that going to be for Dexter? And then all of a sudden it just kind of, like rushed into like okay kurt's dead now and and he's the guy they, they figured that out and now all of a sudden dexter's on like on the hunt or like he's being hunted or whatever right like, yeah it just felt I mean, very rushed I, I didn't mind that so much um i think for me though i do kind of wish there was a little bit of an epilogue like, yeah they do show like harrison kind of driving off in the credits mm-hmm. but i mean like we knew that because that's how like that was the last shot of, like i don't know i didn't need to see that right so that would have been nice to kind of give especially the chief a little bit of closure i mean yeah. she did you know end up you know solving the big case that you know where she's like everyone says i'm crazy you know so yeah i wish there was a little epilogue for like at least getting a little closure for her and maybe a little closure for um angel as well yeah that yeah that would have been cool because i know like i don't know if you saw the article or there was like a thing going around where people no. were they screenshotted his computer screen where okay. she reveals like the picture of him and De- her and dexter together mm-hmm. and in his emails it shows like joey quinn and masuka being like hey are oh. you coming to masuka's wedding so it like shows that Aww. like like it was, it was supposed to be like this is what these guys are doing right so that if you have questions this is what it is but it still would have been i think it would have been neat because obviously Angela solved the Bay Harbor butcher case that mm-hmm. got back to Angel and Angel has to now go to Miami Metro and 
wrap that like close that case essentially now, mm-hmm. right? And have like all the guys there that if they're still working there, like them finding out and just kind of seeing their reactions to all that and mm-hmm. just like all this time it was him and they never knew and it makes so yeah. much sense now and yeah. Oh my god, I screenshotted a review of IMDb. It was so funny. It the title was just that Angela knew how to use Google. <laughs> She's like, they're like all these FBI and all these smarty pants, and you know, and this local town sheriff just knew how to use Google and right? solve the Bay Harbor Butcher case, <laughs> which I thought was really funny. I was like, oh, that's too good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just remember as I was binging, you know, I was I didn't want to like tease too much for myself, but I was also like checking the scores of the episodes and stuff, and I mm-hmm. saw just like. You know, it was like 9.1, 9.4, like it was just escalating. And I mean, there were some really good moments. And then, yeah, finale, 4.8. I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> we took a big old dip there. Yeah. And I mean, again, maybe we are in this boat, but I think that was probably the best ending. Right? Because, um, again, like, you know, because, oh, God, words. Okay, so breaking everything down. So, again... From what I was reading from the reviews from people, again, this is just from IMDb, a small pool of people. Mm-hmm. A lot of those same things came up. So a lot of them were like hoping there would be a season, another season with Dexter and Harrison on the road, on the run. Mm-hmm. Um, there was another one. Wait, what was the other one you mentioned? Uh, um, Harrison uh, was the one to kill. Oh, no, no, that, that's what happened. Take up the torch. Take up the torch or Dexter mm-hmm. had to kill Harrison because he's like too off the rails. Right. But, like, that's what, like, yeah, generally what people seem to be really upset about. There was also ones that dived into being, like, I can't believe, like, Harrison killed him. Like, wow, lazy writing. Dexter, they make him seem so stupid. Uh, Then they kind of devolve into, like, the guy who plays Harrison's a shitty actor, which I would disagree, but, you know, oh, yeah. whatever. Oh, yeah. I think he did I just he did. fine. I thought I thought yeah. his mannerisms and the, just how he ca- carried himself, you could see like the similarities of mm-hmm. like him and Dexter and stuff like that. I thought he did great. Yeah, like, I think that's when you, you know, you're upset of you know how something's turned out that you just are kind of being right. Uh, not a whirly wart, but just you know, howdy yeah. about it or yeah. So it's like yeah. I want to say bitter. The, the you're criticism being bitter about it. Yeah, so it's not really I don't want to say valid criticism. It's just being you know, bitter. Being butthurt. But, <laughs> right, being butthurt. But, uh, what was my thought? And again, I think maybe we talked about this a little bit. I think only it being one season, I yeah. think, was important. And, I mean, figuring that it was probably going to be one season, like, really, the only solution was Dexter had to die. Yeah, well, because, like, and even, sorry to interrupt you, but you even mm-hmm. said, too, during our one episode that you're like, he's not going to learn anything by mm. taking certain routes, right? Which was my argument with, like, like, her, like mm-hmm. Zena and I, we'd kind of have, like, our discussions of how we thought it was going to end. Yeah. And she, she was, like, all for him him living and him going on, and mm-hmm. maybe they'll make it into the season. And to be fair, the writers uh, and the creator of the show kind of hyped it up a little too much, I think, because they were like, mm-hmm. oh, it's going to blow your mind. And then they had, like, this special announcement that was going to happen, like, the the Monday after the series aired and it was just supposed to be that they were putting it on DVD or something like that. But of course Uh, fans, you know, they're like, Oh, there's going to be another season. Oh, they're going to do a spinoff of Harrison and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Right. But, um, yeah, like you, you had said, uh, he doesn't learn anything if he survives, which is what Mm -hmm. my argument to Zeno was, was like, yeah, like it'd be great if he survived, but if he has to kill Harrison, like if that's, if that's one of the theories, Mm -hmm. he doesn't learn anything by doing that. He, he's, this entire time, like, been the guy who who gets away and, like, mm-hmm. scot free and stuff like that. And But there's always a lesson to learn from that. And by having to kill his own son, he doesn't really benefit or, like, yeah. move on in any way from that. So there's no real closure to that theory and, and so, on, so on and so forth. So it makes more sense mm-hmm. for, you know, Harrison to be the one who ha- had gone through what he went through because of mm-hmm. Dexter, being able to kind of, like, face him for that tell mm-hmm. him how he felt about it and then realize that they share that bond of like they both were born in blood and they mm-hmm. both have these urges and he you right. know, Dexter's just trying to show him here this is how I've been able to navigate through life and, and mm-hmm. do it too it, it yeah that seems to make more sense right I think a hu- yeah a hundred percent and again because even like that at well last episode right like Harrison like he even said he's like I feel like I belong and I'm finding my way so having him and Dexter be on the road, you know, 
that tears him away, like Harrison away from, you know, all the progress he's made. Mm -hmm. And I just don't think it would be, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I just don't think it'd be fun to watch them, you know, on the road and on the run. Yeah. The whole, the way the show works is that, you know, Dexter does something bad and there's just this suspense of like, are they going to catch him? So having, you know, you know, do kind of a 360 and have them always be like, oh, we got to look over our shoulder. Oh, oh, oh. Like, I mm -hmm. don't think it would be as fun yeah. or entertaining, you know? Or even or even just to, like, as, like, and I, I argue with, like, Supernatural and stuff like that, too. Like, mm -hmm. they eventually did do a good ending to the series, which was great. But, like, I'd rather see our beloved character, like, burn out than fade away kind of thing. Yeah. Because then you then you start to resent him, and you're like, okay, well, you're not doing anything now. Like, you're just the old, you're old news. Like, you're just selling out kind of thing, right? Like, right. I'd rather see him go out in a blaze of glory than just, like, kind of, you know, fizzle off mm -hmm. in the wind. And, yeah, so. Right. And they even made this good point, um, kind of, like, especially near the end, well, Deb does, where it's like, no, you get off on this. Like, this wasn't about, like, survival. Like, you were just kind of, like, muting yourself, you know? And he has that talk with Kurt that mirrors very much. And he, like when he was like when Dexter was saying that speech to him on his table, I was like, "This sounds a lot like you." Mm -hmm. <laughs> and again, I don't think they should let Dexter get away with it because I feel that sends the wrong message. Yes, and I think especially well, I wouldn't say especially now, but I feel like at least over the years we're becoming more and more conscious of like what media like how media affects us and like what it sends out into the world. Mm -hmm. um, I was just thinking about it recently because I was watching this video on like songs and how, you know, artists like make up breakup songs, you know, and people are like, oh, is it about this person? Oh, oh, or is it about this? And so then fans end up sending like hate towards someone else where it's like, no, no, this is my process this is how I deal with, you know, stuff. Mm -hmm. But then the conversation becomes like, how much does, does the artist have responsibility, you know, to, um, not police what their, what their fans do, but like police what they're supposed to put out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so again, letting Dexter live and continue to kill sends this weird message where it's like, oh yeah, visual, like vigilante justice for the win. We can't trust the police. Yeah. But, I mean, I think the show does a good job showing, like, bad, good in everybody, mm -hmm. you know? And, again, as much as I love Dexter, you know, at the end of the day, what he's doing is wrong. Yeah, exactly. Even though he's going after bad people, yeah, it's still wrong. Mm -hmm. So I think, yeah, letting him live didn't make sense. The one thing I will say I didn't like about Harrison killing Dexter was that Dexter didn't exactly, but he was pretty much like, oh, Harrison, you have to do it. Yeah. That's kind of like... That's a lot of weird pressure to put on poor Harrison. Yeah. I I mean, we even talked about it. I thought for sure Harrison would kill Dexter because, again, he found out that the Trinity killer killed his mom, but because Dexter, you know, in part because of Dexter. Yeah. And his lifestyle. Well, and even at the end there, too, when he finally, like, admitted that last... I can't remember what it was now. Oh. He, he admitted something that he was he still hiding... This from Harrison and I, I just can't remember what it is. You, you well, probably know. Cuz he killed Logan at the police station to That's escape. what it was. Yes, yes. He killed the coach and didn't tell Harrison about Harrison. it until that point. He confronted him and said, "You killed the coach." And he yeah. said, "I did. I had to. There was no other way. It had to yeah. be done." And I, that for sure was where I thought that motivation was going to come mm -hmm. and, and Dexter wasn't going to have to like coax him to kill him. I thought he was just going to like take out his razor blade and be like, "How dare you?" And then yeah. know, that was it, right? But yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's kind of the only nitpick I had with that, but otherwise I thought like I thought that was a good ending, although people online do not think that. I know. A lot of people were saying that it was worse than the than the season 8 finale, which I, I know, was like, yeah. all right. Zena, she's like, "I want to just go back to the cabin and he's sitting in the cabin and that's where he is." And <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just and again, I don't even I, don't... I think if they re wrote them as that they run away together yeah i don't know how pumped i would be to watch that right yeah and i know like there's a million different ways that you could end it and of course like mm -hmm. i said fans are gonna always have their idea of how they want it to end or how they think mm -hmm. it should end um but yeah you just kind of have to you know 
go back and think of the story and how mm -hmm. you know had had they not done the ending they did for the original like series that, mm -hmm. uh, during season eight they probably could have had like a ton more possibilities and like mm -hmm. maybe maybe a better ending but for what they did they have to kind of go with like you know tie that into mm -hmm. that they can't just like skip over that and be like oh forget about that that lame ending here let's give you something new and right. and i know like some people were like oh but it would have been cool to see like dexter on his own table and like harrison's the one to like plunge the knife into his chest Ooh. and stuff like that and i'm like yeah but that's dexter's thing like harrison yeah, like i don't know i think though in this weird ending though like harrison finds closure and i think that's what the show was good yes. leading up to i think this way he gets the closure that he needed you know he had that bond he was able to kind of repair his relationship with his father but he realized like he can't be his father because i know yes. we were theorizing he's like oh he has his own dark passenger but, you know it just turns out that like you know harrison's just upset at he i mean rightfully so because this i mean the title of the episode sins of the father yeah you know so and I like to think that now that Harrison's now kind of off into the world and now, like, he can let go of a lot of that and maybe move on himself yeah. and have a better life. And then that way the cycle dies. Yeah, you know? exactly. It's like starting with uh, generational trauma or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, you break the cycle and, yeah, that makes sense. Right. And, and like, even, too, like, just you talking about that, like, Dexter was so gung-ho after he found out that harrison has like his dark passenger mm -hmm. he was like oh he can be he can be one of us like mm -hmm. we can turn him into what we do and show him and i right. can finally have somebody to like you know relate to again and deb saying like you're like no you you're just getting off on this like this has no benefit to yeah. him at all you're just getting off on this and so, right. yeah, that, that makes sense i get another applause for jennifer carpenter fucking crushed it like oh my god crushed it She's loved it great I loved that shot when he was in the jail cell and it was him and he was talking to Deb and it was just the shadow yes, on the wall. Yes. Oh, so good. Oh, so, so good. good. Yeah. And I love too the end at the end there when like they kind of brought it full circle and had Harrison be the one to say like, open your eyes and look at what you've done. And then they did like the flash of like everybody in his mm -hmm. life. Like that to me, that was just as good as the whole electric chair yeah. theory that we, that me and mm -hmm. my friend had. That was just as good. And I mean, there was a couple of flashes where I remember thinking, I was like, oh, he didn't kill LaGuerta. It was Deb who c killed LaGuerta. Yeah. But again, at the same time, it was because of Dexter's actions, you know? Yes. And I think it's supposed to be like, you know, his actions doesn't justify the means. Yep. You know, because again, he was trying to be to Harrison. He's like, oh yeah, like what I do, like I save people. Like I've saved so many lives. But, and I mean, that could be true, you know, especially mm -hmm. again, the Wiggle story with that creepy ass clown. Like oh, you God, cannot yeah. tell me, you cannot tell me clown. Like I, I don't care. Clowns that that was good though. How he was like, it was like his step one, we do this. Step two, we do that. Like that oh, was kind of cool. That opening was like, I was like, oh, Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so Seeing him in his good. OG kill suit, I'm like, yeah. And then those weird, like, w fourth wall-breaking moments, but really he was, like, telling this to Harry. Like, yeah, that yeah. That was really well done. Yeah. Um, But again, yes, yes, I'm sure he has killed many people and probably, you know, um, and some, and yeah, maybe there are some more people who are no longer victims, but again, because what he is doing, you know, is still illegal, you know, he did punish so many people around him and vice versa. Mm -hmm. But um, I'd have to agree. I think the series as a whole, I really like. I think it's a good ending. Like I said, I kind of, it was to me kind of weird that Dexter like coaxed him into killing him, mm -hmm. you know? I didn't, wasn't really a fan of that. But again, now talking about it, like I think it was supposed to give both of them closure. And yeah. now this way... Like I said, I, I like to think that now Harrison is out into the world and now he, he's going to be better. Mm -hmm. He's going to break the cycle. Yep. Um, and I know a lot of people, like, I think I probably am repeating myself, but a lot of people didn't like that it was like, oh, why did it have to be he used a gun to kill him kind of thing, right? And it's like, well, again, with the, sh with the amount of time they had to tell the story, it wouldn't have made sense, like, timeline-wise for Harrison to do the whole, like, on the table stab because he's really only witnessed him doing that once. Once, yeah. And they needed something to, like, to connect what that tool was going to be for Harrison. And so for Dexter to, like, gift him a gun for Christmas, and that just happened to be the most convenient thing to use, so... Well, I think it's also, good, right, because that was a bonding moment for them. Yeah. Because he taught them how to shoot it. Yeah. You know, so I think it was just... And again, 
Like, Harrison was about to shoot him, and Dexter's like, hey, you know, don't forget the safety. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, he, Dexter could have gone away. Yeah. In that moment, but he shows, he was like, I'm ready to die. Yeah. You know? Like, I, I don't know. I, and again, I think if he was on the table like that, and Harrison kills him, that's not breaking the cycle, then Harrison's gonna go on to do that as well. Yeah. Out of anger. Where, again, this way, I'm hoping that, yeah, it's supposed to be breaking the cycle. Yeah. Of, like, even think about it now, right? Like, the sins of Dexter's dad, Harry. Mm-hmm. You know, he uh, got Dexter's mother to try to turn on these drug dealers. He was having, you know, um, an affair with her. Mm-hmm. As the son, she ends up dead. He's covered in blood. So out of his guilt, you know, he rescues him, adopts him and stuff. And then sees these tendencies. And then maybe in his weird... And again, in his weird mind, he's like, oh, well, the best way is for him to kill guilty people Mm -hmm. in a way it was harris or not harrison um harry's way you know of um and maybe he you know he at working as a cop maybe he's like i can't stand these people can't get away but maybe now i can rectify that yeah and he thought he was justifying his actions right yeah just as dexter's trying to justify his own actions yeah so yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think that episode deserves such a low rating. No. Again, another weird critique people had was the fact that he killed Logan in the cell. Like, oh, he would have never have done that, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, again, unfortunately, Dexter is a serial killer. Mm-hmm. You know, he wasn't going to just lie down and be like, oh, well, I'm caught. Yeah, exactly. You know, and again, he had this new motivation. Again, that scene where, um, sort of skip around, but when Kurt and... Harrison are bonding, mm-hmm. which was so creepy. And then he comes out and tries to shoot him. Yeah. <laughs> Just like his victims. I was like, oh my God. Right? You're like, oh, you know, damn. Like Dexter had this, even though he was fucking shot, he had this, you know, invigoration. He's like, I have to get back to my son. You know, so I mean, he killed that guy and didn't have to. You know? Yeah. I think it was just more justified because it's like, oh, he's an evil crony working for Kurt. Whereas, yeah, Logan was a great guy, a wrestling coach, like a true, you know, mm-hmm. pillar of the community. And he, Dexter said, I don't want to kill you, but he's an animal in a cage. He's going to do whatever it takes to get back to his son. Yeah. And I mean, we've seen Dexter in the past, just as this entire season was kind of mm-hmm. to show like, oh, he's rusty. He's slipping up. He's being sloppy. But we mm-hmm. have seen Dexter in the past, like do whatever it takes to get to the final, you know, wh- wherever he needs to go to, to mm-hmm. achieve his goal. Right. So if, mm-hmm. if it means he's got to, you know, move a few things out of his way. And he, right. like, you know, he's, he's, we've seen him do that. We've seen him kind of, like, talk through that in the past. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't think it's not against his ways, yeah. but it's definitely not like he sat there and was like, I'm going to kill you kind of thing, right? right? He's just like, don't do it, man. Don't do it. Don't make me do it. You made me have to do it. Uh, like, yeah. you know. <laughs> and again, does Dexter didn't hesitate because, again, he's an animal in a cage and he needs, he wants to get out. Yep. yep. I mean, that death sucked. Mm-hmm. I mean, same as Mary, though, again. Or Molly, sorry. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I To me, I think it was a good ending. I think it was a good series as a whole. And, again, we, I mean, we, I'd say we kind of called the killer with the missing girls, but not really. Because I, I think, because we, we did review up to episode three, right? Yes. I think so, yeah. Yes. And look at that, I, that oil tycoon guy was gone. So he was definitely yeah. 100% <laughs> a red heron to be like, oh, is he the one killing the girls? Right. When it really was Kurt. And the only reason I knew it was uh, uh, the guy who, uh, Clancy, Clancy Brown, is his name? No, mm-hmm. or is that the, no. Yeah? Yeah. Well, is that his name or is that the writer's name? I can't remember. But Kurt, the only reason I knew that that actor was the villain was because he was on Michael Rosenbaum's podcast talking about it. So, ah. yeah. Spoilers! Spoilers, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But that was really good, because I think, yeah, you find out in episode four that he's the one abducting the ladies. Yeah. And it's like, oh. And again, he was kind of, he was, he was good as, like, you know, props to him as well. Like, he played, like, the pillar of, again, he was a pillar of the community, helping people out. Mm-hmm. And again, his own sick, twisted mind, he's like, oh, I'm helping these girls. Like, you yep. don't know what kind of life they would have outside if I didn't help them. And mm-hmm. you're like... I guess, like, is it a perfect send-off? I don't know. Like, that could be debatable. But honestly, like, I thought it was great. Yeah. I thought it was a great tenure. And again, I know maybe people just wanted to continue. I just don't think I would have wanted that. Cause, yeah, um, no. Again, uh, 
pivoting a little bit, um, because again, I don't know if this was just the year of reviving TV shows, but like CSI Las Vegas Mm -hmm. got like a little small reboot, and it was really hyped because, um, the guy who played Gil Grissom and Sarah Seidel were both on this, on the season, Mm -hmm. and a couple other fun faces, but, um, when they, I thought, like, because by the time they got to the ending, I was like, I wonder if this is all just to hype up another season. And I think they've confirmed there's a season. Well, they kind of confirmed it because they left it on a cliffhanger of a new killer, a new serial mm. killer. Mm-hmm. So they're clearly doing another season. Whether the other two mainstays are going to be there, I have no idea. But I think it was in a way to be like, oh, surprise, we're going to keep going. And then I'm yeah. like, <sighs> like, it was fun revisiting CS. Like, I love CSI. I love the forensics. But again, even that show, like, didn't know when to die. Yeah. So the fact that, you know, like, it feels a little, I feel a little bit cheated by the fact they're like, here, we're going to use your nostalgia and we're just going to keep going. And it's like, "Eh." whereas this way, I feel like it was like a nice, like, it was there to just finish the story of Dexter. Yeah. It wasn't there to be like, we're going to do a spinoff with Harrison. We're going to keep doing this. They're like, nope, we want to come together make this season yeah we want to do dexter great. right we want to mm-hmm. you know do do justice by him yeah, and maybe we're the only ones but i do think dexter dying was the best um ending it could have had yes I- i'm glad you agree not that i didn't think you weren't going to agree but i'm glad you agree because so many people are just like ah about it right well again i was definitely worried because i was behind so kendra i was like oh i'm not hearing really good thing and kendra just like stood there very silent she goes well we'll just you'll have to see and i was like oh god she hated it she hated it <laughs> but i also I'm, heard I'm, from i'm good at deception good, good you are know. very good <laughs> so my ongoing theory again if i ever finish the books which i'll keep you guys up to date when i finish a book um i do think dexter dies in the books too okay because so i think the last yeah. book is titled something like the death of dexter so like that's uh, I think very blunt. A little sus, <laughs> right? A little sus. So a little, a little sus. <laughs> so I think he probably dies in the books too, and whether um it is from uh, Cody instead of maybe Harrison. Okay. But we'll have to, I'll keep you guys up to date. I'll keep yeah. you guys up to date. Um I'm just trying to think. What's other I got I gotta say things? though too, like I like and you probably agree too, but like I felt for Angela when she found out about Dexter and then just, like, continuing to, like, unravel Mm -hmm. the layers of him. Like, just the look on her face and how her whole demeanor changed. Just, like, she felt so disgusting and just, like, uncomfortable around him and just kind of, like, baffled being, like, I can't believe I'm seeing this, like, in front of my face and he's just, like, acting like nothing's wrong and, like, wow, like, how did I not Mm -hmm. pick up on this, right? Like, that, to me, I was like, oh, because that's, like, oh, like, out out of all the people who he knew throughout the series, like, yeah. There's really only one or, like, well, other than Dokes, like, Dev had, like, a really bad reaction to him, too, Mm -hmm. obviously. But, yeah, just to see, like, she's like, what the hell is happening here? (laughs) It's funny, because in a way, like, again, speaking to, like, Dexter being rusty, I think he, um, I think it's actually his, obviously it's his fault, but, like, um, how do I explain this? Because there's that scene where she finds her friend, mm-hmm. right? Because she's like, why does Kurt, why did Kurt call the search party off? Because they fi- they found out that, like, his son is clearly not alive. So it's like, why don't they want us to go to this cave? So they go to the cave and she finds her friend there, mm-hmm. dead. And um, she calls Dexter in. Cause she goes, I just want someone to do forensics on it. Blah, blah, blah. And he even said, I think, I think it was in that moment he was like, oh, my sister, you know, had a gut feeling and she was always right. So listen to that gut feeling. Yeah. You know? So in a way that was kind of his own nail in the coffin because she was like, oh, something's not right about this. And it's like, I'm going to trust my gut. Mm -hmm. So in a way Dexter was teaching her, hey, you need to be more confident in yourself. So when he was trying to like fool her in the interrogation, like it just wasn't working. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Even though, yeah, it was like faulty evidence you know yeah and it was and and yeah maybe if he didn't you know give her that encouragement maybe she would have believed him when he was like listen to yourself you know but then she was like no i am right yeah i don't know there's not a whole lot i didn't like about the show no 
I, like, I walked away feeling content. I didn't feel, yeah. like, hurt or, like, confused or anything like that. I felt content. I was like, yep. That's it. <laughs> Solid from beginning to end. Yep. Like I said, the small nitpick is, yeah, I don't like the fact that he, co- like, coerced um, Harrison to kill him. Yeah. Again, I like the theory of breaking the cycle. And what's the other thing? Um... And yeah, I kind of wish there was a little longer of an epilogue for at least the closure of the other characters Yeah, in the town. Like, it was good that Harrison, I think, got his closure, you know, for yeah. his entire life. But it would have been nice for Angela to get a bit of closure, a little more closure, and for um, Angel, Angel to get yeah. some. And that was the other thing people were nitpicking, too, is that they wanted to see Angel and Dexter face-to-face again. Ooh. Which would have been Honestly, cool, but still, yeah. I think it would have been cool if he was dead, and you know? And he just looked at him, and he was like, what Yeah, he just hell? came to see the body just to kind of get, like, his own closure and stuff like that, yeah. Right. Um, Who knows? Maybe if people demand it enough, I mean, maybe they'll do, like, a bonus episode, just, like, the epilogue I'll, and stuff, right? Yes, like, I will take a bonus epilogue episode. Yeah. It doesn't have to be long, you know, just nope. for the characters to get closure. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Um... What's the other thing? Even if we oh. put, it, put it on YouTube. Like, I, it doesn't have to be, like, a big TV special. Just put it on YouTube. That's good enough for me. <laughs> just send it to me and Kendra. That's fine. Yeah, that's we just will... to us. That's, that's all we care about. Fuck <laughs> What was my other thought? Oh, so Kurt and Matt. So their relationship, right? Yeah. So I was wondering, and maybe I'm just looking too into it, but I do wonder if Matt actually knew what his dad was up to. Oh. And I was wondering... If maybe that's why he was such a party child, is maybe, A, maybe that was his way to kind of cope, the way he copes with it, and B, you know, because, uh, like, right, the whole thing was, like, I'm always bailing him out of trouble, you know, and he made it sound like it was such a big deal, mm-hmm. but I do wonder if it was because, you know, Matt would turn and be like, oh, I'll tell people your secret, you know? Maybe. Or, and honestly, maybe it was just that he didn't know how to be a good dad. Well, because he, te- he, he yeah. has that, like story that he tells about like oh my dad was the one who did it and i had to see yeah. him go through it so i wonder if maybe he's like that he's saying that about matt like maybe that's matt's experience with him and mm. like he's the one like he he's speaking as if it was his dad but it's actually him and his son is matt going through that maybe his son w- witnessed him doing that and tried to stop him and didn't like that or he felt like he had to carry that on and he didn't want to so he was pushed away or said yeah. you know I, i'm gonna do my own thing because that, that no i don't want to do that or i don't know right so i because i it, maybe i was like reading into it but i thought there was maybe some clues about that and maybe that's why they didn't have as good as a relationship because he really liked bonding with harrison right? yeah and maybe because he saw a lot of himself in harrison mm-hmm. just like dexter did and i think yeah both men really wanted him to be kind of like, ah, you're gonna be a killer. Yeah, you're gonna be my protege. Yeah. Right? And in the end, Harrison's just like, listen, I'm broken, man. I just, <laughs> I want to feel less broken. Yeah. You know? But, um, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's just me spitballing. Like, maybe I'm wrong. Um, another th- detail I thought was weird. Again, maybe it was, maybe it doesn't really go anywhere. But, um, the women down, again, speaking of the women in that weird bunker area, like, he fixes them up and stuff, so, again, Ping, I think it was the fifth or fourth episode where he shot that girl in the eye because she didn't do what he wanted. Yeah. You know? And he, like, fixes them up and preserves them. But they all seemed the same. Like, they seemed to have the same haircut and same hair color, mm-hmm. which was weird because not all of them did. Mm-hmm. So I don't know... And I was trying to work this out. Like, I don't know if it's, like... Because he said his mom left him, so I don't know if he was trying to make them look like his mother, which is possible. But then I was also thinking about how, again, he, like, I'm saving them, so he gives them the hot meal, gives them the room, and then in the end when they're like, oh, they're being ungrateful, and they're running away and he shoots them, you know, I, I was just wondering if he was trying to mirror that first time with Iris, when Maybe. she runs away from the car and he shoots and he shoots her. And then he's trying to preserve them to, like, look like that. Like, that. Like I thought there was maybe one more thing there, and maybe I just didn't pick up on it. Maybe. I Well, I was wondering if it had to do with, because they're dressed in white, and I know, like, I think yes. it was in school that we learned, like, white means purity. Purity. Like, virgin, mm-hmm. you know, that kind of stuff. So I wonder yeah. if, like, he, because they're runaways, they're doing bad things, they're, like, mm-hmm. you know, not doing, 
they're they're supposed to be good girls and they're bad and stuff like that. So I wonder if like yeah. that's his way of being like I'm keeping you pure by it could by be. not letting you run away by keeping you safe and do you know so. Yeah, I just thought it was weird that all their hair was the same. Because, again, they flashed to a girl we met in episode one, and I remember she did have shorter hair, but it looked like in the thing she had longer hair. There was a couple when they panned through that looked like they had, like, shorter hair. Like, I I swear there was a girl who had more of, like, a pixie cut and it was red. So, I I don't know if that so much maybe has a significance. It's just that they, they, he just dresses them the same for whatever reason. Maybe. And, yeah, I don't know. I just thought that was maybe weird and maybe I missed a detail or two or maybe there was a more intention to, again, maybe elaborate on that more, but it just didn't kind of work with where everything was going. Well, because then even, like, the box he keeps them in looks like a Barbie box, like a Barbie Mm -hmm. doll box, right? And so when you think dolls, you think children, you think purity, innocence, right? So, again, I wonder if, like, that's just the connection maybe. It's just, like, he wants to keep them pure and, yeah. Maybe. And and the box, and that's why you don't take things out of the box. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Damages the value of (laughs) I can't believe I just made that comparison. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> on that note, <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's good for. <laughs> but yeah, um, I give it I... ten blood slides out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like I think it's great. I think it. Yeah, I think it does some good things, mixing old and new. Again, I'd always recommend Dexter's the series. I know for a lot of people, they dipped after season four. Yeah. And a lot of people don't like the ending. But I think, I don't know, overall, it's still one of my favorite shows. Oh, agreed. Hands down, it's in my top ten favorites. Just storytelling-wise, and just, like, the overall, it's just very creatively well done. Mm-hmm. Ten, ten blood slides out of ten blood slides. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, maybe I'll... I'll keep you guys updated if I end up reading any more of the books and we can continue sharing our Dexter thoughts yeah. throughout the year. Heck yeah. But, um, and not yeah. that they'll ever see it, but like, congrats and great job to Michael C. Hall and mm-hmm. Jennifer Carpenter and all yeah, of the other actors show. on the show, all of the, the creators, the crew, everybody. Like, very well done. Out of, out of majority of the shows that I have seen myself that have either been revived or just like have you know, made beginning to end. There's not many that I can say have like really nailed it at the end mm-hmm. or that I've at least felt content going out watching it. And yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I applaud them for, for doing such a good job and keeping the heart mm-hmm. of Dexter going throughout yes. this entire series and not like swaying. Mm-hmm. Like even, Agreed. even if they did like the cool, like title, the, the title things in this one where they, they kind of like incorporated it Ooh, into the episode yeah. and like the flashes and stuff like that. It wasn't 100% OG Dexter, which was fine, but yeah, at least they still kept the heart of Dexter alive, so that's all, that's all I cared about. Right? But, um, yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, please like and subscribe. That would be really appreciative. Mm-hmm. And I mean, yeah, we could definitely do more deep dives into stuff and just have more focused episodes in this coming year. Um, I, know I like doing Peace, it. <laughs> right? Uh, Peacemaker just released this first three episodes oh yeah that's HBO. Right. so i think that might be the next one i watch oh okay i think so i think so nice um but yeah let us know if there's any series you want us to cover hope you guys have a happy tuesday and we will see you next time Bye-bye. bye-bye monkey monkey, monkey. monkey.